Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company. Oh, and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. We have a great day today planned today, folks. Oh, I'm running the brand new Thundermiss Lure Company Flexi Jig. And there's no jig out there like it. And boy, does it have an amazing hook set. And I'm using the pre-production Flexi Jig right now. And this oh, is our first Flexi Jig fish of the day. There we go. Beautiful. There's a nice start to our day right there, folks. Mr. Seabass. And this is the thing with the flexi jig. Right up the snout, the hook set is absolutely perfect. There we go. Mr. Flexi Jig right there. What do you think, Phil? Excellent start. Great start to our day. The whole advantage of the flexi jig, when you set the hook because it's spring loaded, that hook comes right up the snout and you get a perfect hook set every time. And if the fish try to shake the hook, they really can't because the hook flexes and gives. So it's a phenomenal jig, it's brand new. If you haven't tried one yet folks, get your hands on one. They're absolutely outstanding. We're in for a great day. Let's go get them, Phil. You got one, Phil. Yeah, not bad, Evil, my first flexi cast. You just put the flexi jig on. But I, 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 was, some, I caught two fish already. <laughs> I put some squid on though. You put, oh, you tipped it. I did, yeah, I put some squid. Beautiful. It's just a bare hook with the squid. Beautiful. Well, like I said, you could use artificial baits, you could use natural baits, live baits, cut baits, just as you would any jig. Need a net, Evo. Oh, you need the net. Yeah. There you go. Can you land them? Yeah, I think I can. Oh, that's a nice fish. Not bad. Good start of the day for me. Yeah, I got a re-rig, but since you caught that one, I'm gonna toss this jig out again with that missing tail. See if I can trigger another bite. Yep. I really should get re-rigged though. There we go. Not bad. That's your first flexi jig fish. First cast and first fish. Pre-production flexi right jigs. There. Got him? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I got him. That's awesome. It's small though. What do I got That's here? It's okay. It's all good. Let's see what I got here. I, I didn't re- It's just a little one. I didn't even re-rig, Phil. I just, uh, Is that since right? you cut that one. Yeah. That's okay. I didn't even re-rig that plastic. Right up the snout, Phil. I noticed that too on mine too, it was right up the snout. Beautiful. That's gotta be a huge advantage. Okay, that one was probably a keeper, but that's okay, we'll let him go, we'll get some more. What do you think, should I, uh, should I try that again? I think you should, yeah. It's got no tail on it. Again, all I'm doing, hey, Phil, you're bouncing off the bottom as well, Phil, right? Yeah, I am, yeah. That's all we're doing. We're just taking these jigs with our plastic, lift it up, let Here's, it go down. You got another one, Phil. One. <laughs> He's got another one. <laughs> all we're doing is bouncing off the bottom, folks. <laughs> we're having a flexi day today. What do you got, squid on, Phil? Actually, I left the same piece of squid on there. <laughs> we are having a flexi day today. And just like yours, it's a bit smaller. Oh, that's a keeper, though. A little female, actually, you don't even need the net for this guy. Ah, uh, she's just gonna go back. Okay. Well, this one was hooked on the bottom lip. Oh, not the interesting. Top lip. It's a 180, nice. 180 degree difference. Nice. Well, I think I'm gonna re-rig, so Phil. I gotta need, put a, I gotta put a tail on mine. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I are won't. you on? I just got you are on. I can't believe it. It's just, he just did it. Incredible. <laughs> this is unbelievable, folks. I was telling you, there you go. I think we're going to have a great day today. But you, no you noticed, everyone's getting hooked. Yeah. Even Look at even a small fish like this is getting hooked. There, goes. there goes my plastic. Now I have to re-rig. But the hook sets are unbelievable all the time. Look at that. Perfect hook set. That's probably a keeper fish too, but... It's nice we'll, to give back. We'll let that one go. And uh, I'm gonna re-rig another plastic on here, but these flexi jigs, folks, it's all about the hook set. The hook set and they can't shake it. They're unbelievable. 
You know how much I like the jig, folks. And I'm ever happy that this flexi jig has been born. It's an outstanding jig. You use it with plastics as you would any regular jig. Jig it off the bottom, swim it back from shore, from a boat. Doesn't matter, it's a great, great jig to use. I'm using it right now with uh, plastic. I've got a plastic minnow imitating type bait on there. Looking for sea bass. Uh, we may go try for uh, fluke a little later, but right now we're in for the sea bass bite. And all I'm doing, we're fishing in about 18 to 20 feet of water. And I'm just bouncing this flexi jig off the bottom. Oh, oh, I thought I had a hit there. No. Just bouncing it. Oh, I did have a hit. There we go. Just bouncing the flexi jig off the bottom. And uh, I thought I felt the hit. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad fish. Another sea bass. He just realized he's hooked, I think. Well, we're in for a day today. It's looking that way. Oh yeah. Okay, he was a smaller fish, but again, that spring-loaded flexi jig with that hook set, I could tell right now, right up the snout. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Hook comes right out the snout, just like that. And I need a new plastic. That's what happened, that first hit, you see the tail there? That first hit, he just took the tail off. Second hook, second uh, bite, he must have taken the, the jig a little more, and that's when I set the hook. That was, a, I re-rigged with another plastic. Get your squid down there, maybe there's a, there's a few down there. See if you can hook into one. This one feels decent. And again, the whole advantage of these flexi jigs, because they flex, oh, good hook set. Oh, we got a, a double header. The whole advantage of these flexi jigs, the head or the spring, because it, it pivots, you get a perfect hook set every single time. I got a decent one, Phil. Nice, so do I, I think. Feels pretty good, you won't. Oh, this is a decent fish. Wow, that's, Come on, that's mister. a big one. There we go. Awesome. So, look at that. Oh, and look at Phil, what he see of the hook set. I love those flexi jig hook sets. Absolutely love them. Oh, there we go. This guy's staying down There's there. a chunk right there, Phil. Nice. Hey. Eh? Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. I got a medium light rod here. This may look bigger than what it actually is. Well, let's see who's is bigger, the uh, artificial or the squid. I think uh, I think the artificial's got you beat. <laughs> Still a good fish, though. You got a you got a female. I got a male. Or no? You got a little hump. We both got males. Let's take a look. Nice fish though. Oh. Hey? Yeah. You gotta love it. We're absolutely having a phenomenal day out here. We're out in Buzzards Bay and like I say, we're keying in around the 20 foot range. Amazing. Just bump back out again. And I'll tell you what I like using. I'm using the uh, braid today with a fluorocarbon leader. And I really like using that braided line when I'm jigging because it allows for a nice solid hook set and you could feel absolutely everything but I never fish braid without that fluorocarbon leader. Okay, decent fish. Oh, there we go, that was a good <laughs> I just repainted. What I did though, I put a smaller plastic on. Oh, There's one, Evo. <laughs> fish. I put a smaller plastic on this time because they were taking the back end of that other minnow. I just put a small shad on. Oh yeah, I got a little, a little sea bass. It's okay, they're all good. Oh yeah. There we go. We are having an absolute unbelievable day today. These jigs are fun to use. <laughs> well folks, I gotta tell you, it's safe to say we're flexing our muscles today with these flexi jigs. I can't wait to get out there and using them on some freshwater walleye and bass. They're absolutely amazing and they're new and they're from Thundermiss Lure Company, and you gotta love them. I know I do. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode, folks. We're gonna keep going at it here. We're having an outstanding day. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We always welcome new subscribers. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck, good fishing.